It's mid-afternoon in the heart of Westminster. These armed officers are in the midst of an urgent operation just a few hundred metres from Parliament. Pinned to the ground is a man dressed all in black with a backpack beside him. Witnesses said they'd seen knives on the ground. The police said the man had been stopped and searched as part of an ongoing operation. He's arrested and led away, his right hand apparently bandaged. After being bundled into a car, the man is driven off in a police convoy with hundreds of bystanders looking on. In a statement, the Metropolitan Police said the man, aged in his late 20s, was arrested on suspicion of possession of an offensive weapon and on suspicion of the commission, preparation and instigation of acts of terrorism. Knives have been recovered from him. He's being detained under the Terrorism Act and is in custody in a South London police station. Despite the chilling echoes of last month's attack on Parliament, there were no injuries reported in Westminster today. The crowd seemed more curious than fearful. One lane of Whitehall remained cordoned off for an hour as officers in forensic suits examined the scene. Several knives could be seen on the ground, as well as what appeared to be a mobile phone and the backpack. Each item was photographed and taken away as the investigation continues. Our police and our intelligence and security services are on the alert, as they always are, uh, looking to keep us safe and secure. And I would say uh, we owe a huge debt of gratitude to these people, many of whom are unseen, unheard, uh, yet the job they do day in and day out to keep us secure is a really important one. Westminster was getting back to normal this afternoon. The incident was over comparatively quickly and police say there is no other known threat. Richard Lister, BBC News.